welcome, spirit, Abigor, most noble duke. I say thou art welcome unto me, because I have called thee through him who has created heaven and earth and hell and all that is in them contained, and because also thou hast obeyed by that same power by which I have called thee forth and with I bind thee, that thou remain affably and visible here before me within my crystal ball. So constrained, and for so long as I shall have the occasion for thy presence, and not to depart without my license, until thou hast duly and faithfully performed my will without any falsity. By this pentacle of Solomon, I have called thee, I have called thee forthwith to give me true answers. Welcome, Duke Agbagor. Most goodly knight. Duke Agbor, I have called you here because I am in need of a war strategy, a plan into which defeat my enemies. My enemies are the enemies of humanity, really and truly, and they always have been. And for at least the last 200 years, these same people who have been amassing power, these same people who were the ones who profited off the human slave trade. These same people who profit off the lies and hoaxes behind banking. These same people who create and promote wars and then fund all sides. These same people who create the false flags. These same people who create the inside jobs. These same people who create the racism, the division, and all the false and sick ideologies such as fascism and communism and work those evil and insidious plots against are unfortunately sometimes very average intellectual brethren and sisters. And I see you know full well who I am speaking of. Uh, they have called upon you many times, I am sure, to gag before. And because you are a faithful spirit, you give true accountings. And in the name of the Most High, tonight you shall give true accountings. But I am, I have a paradox, you see. Duke Agregor, what works for me may not work for everyone else. I am of a particular temperament. I am of a particular physical stature. I am of a particular mind, and I am of a particular spiritual advancement. Some are above me, and some are below me. So in the gauging of our strategies, it is not right for me to fully come up with my own and then present it to all others as if it would work for them in their situations. Truly, resistance in this case is victory and will always be victory. But we are not looking purely for personal victories, although that is important. Really, what we're looking for is a global humanitarian victory. As they present full spectrum dominance, it is time that we express full spectrum, resistance, domination, victory, not on just personal, but on all fronts. And so, Duke Egbegor, as you are in now the temple of the machete that wins all battles, 
I charge you in the name of the Most High to devise a strategy for each individual who comes to this same realization that I have that something must be done. That the human slave trade is still full, alive, and kicking. That it is not just a racial issue. It is now, as it always has been, a humanitarian issue. Just because they are not shipping people on wooden boats anymore. But no, submarines, trains, airplanes, giant cruise liners... I would imagine, such as I, that many others would express extreme rage that this is going on. Unfortunately, they don't know it. That the global pedophile ring must be stomped. Any group that sponsors and protects pedophiles, such as Antifa, are enemies to the people and good and common decency is well beyond them. They are subhuman and trash and need to be taken out and treated accordingly. As with anyone else who supports racist, violent, pedophilic, human trafficking, supporting movements must be systematically dismantled. Duke Egregore, we also need protection in this work too. And so this I charge you with as well. The feeling is that you must contact and speak with everyone individually. And within my crystal ball, this is what I am seeing. That each person committed to this work every week will light a single white candle better if prepared with olive oil and rolled in some sort of metal shaving iron, steel, it doesn't matter lit and meditated upon while speaking the following phrase Ez Ra Ba To Fra Ez Ra Ba To Fa this methodical chanting will put one in the desired state for which Duke Egregore may begin to speak to you. And as the candle burns, and as you go into trance with that phrase, Duke Egregore will begin to reveal your own personal battle strategy that you will use to overcome the enemies of humanity. I would also like to put in one more caveat, Duke Egregore, that should any neck-bearded liberal fat ass from the shit-lined streets of the third level of hell known as Portlandia or blue-haired hippo hybrid monster decide to begin using this same process to further support Antifa or any other said groups, they have forfeit themselves to you, Duke Egregore, and that you have free reign to destroy them from inside out. This, as the type of mage and the level that I am at, I am afforded this ability. But all those whose hearts are full of love and passion for humanity, that their battle plans may be laid out. You are tasked with this, goodly knight, Duke Egbegor. And I honor thee for being present. O thou, spirit Duke Egbegor, because thou hast diligently answered 
my demands and thou hast been ready and willing to come at my call 